Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ringside at the newest of Family Feud's epic confrontation between the World Wrestling Federation's forces of good and the mercenaries of evil. And now, upholding the forces of good, Macho Man, Randy Savage, the Reverend Slick, Rush, Tatanka, and the Big Boss Man, ready for action. Battling the mercenaries of evil, Papa Shango, Shawn Michael, Repo Man, IRS, and the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, on your mark. And here's the ringmaster of the battle, Ray Good and Bad, Ho! And welcome to the Family Feud. We have two great teams ready to battle it out. Thank you, Gene, Gene Wolf, for that wonderful introduction. Tell your friends to tune in because right now on our show today, we have two of the greatest teams ever to battle it out. Five representing the forces of good, five representing the forces of evil. For the chance to win up to $20,000 for their favorite charity, welcome our five good men headed by Macho Man Randy Savage. Randy, nice to have you on the queue. Thank you very much. Yeah, oh yeah, we're ready. Now, we never looked at that. We're good looking here. Now, yeah. we, we met all your great teammates right up front and we're very familiar with them. You picked a great charity you'd like to play for today. That's right. Should you win? Ru Wrestling Federation is putting a headlock on hunger. Yeah, the Somalian relief effort. And Great we're doing channel. the thing with the Red Cross. Excellent, excellent. And we're going to win. I just want to point out, I believe this was a charity that was started by Vince McMahon. Yes, absolutely. absolutely a great yes. charity. Perhaps $5,000 that we put into the bank of our good guy. $5,000. The least you could play for if you have what it takes to take down our five bad boys. Ladies and gentlemen, headed by Sean Michael. Thank you. How are you, Sean? Well, how do I look? I look great, don't I? Yeah, you look very good. Big belt, they're intercontinental cab drive. No, he a heavyweight. That's the heavyweight championship. You notice there are no belts on that side now, are there? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You've got to be over 150 pounds. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> it's just heavyweight here, Macho right, Munchkin. Let me, just, let me just get this straight. Lightweight. Keep weight out of this, Macho. I missed it by three pounds in 147. All right, All right Sean. You've got a great charity, but you got five bad boys who want to make a better image. What's the charity you've selected to play for? We are playing for the Boulder Dam Area Council Boy Scouts of America out of Las Vegas, which, incidentally, is where WrestleMania 9 is going to be held. WrestleMania 9 is going to be in Las Vegas. That's right. Well, you have a partner, is that right? Or is this your... Oh, this is all mine. I get this on my own. I don't need anybody's help. You know what I mean, Macho? All right, well, I'm going to put $5,000 into your bank, the least you could play for if your team wins. But we want to find out the most you can play for is a call for the bullseye game. Macho Man, let's go, Sean. Who has what it takes to build the largest bank? All that count in bullseye are the number one answers. This first question is worth $1,000, and we ask 100 people. Do you have the quickest hand? And the number one answer? You got the quickest mail. <laughs> Forget it. Ooh, the question. Name something kids suffer from at summer camp. Randy. Measles. Is measles the bullseye? No, can you add $1,000 to your bank, Sean? Something kids suffer from at summer camp. Home sickness. Is homesickness number one? Bullseye! The bad boys fill the bank of $6,000. Here come two more players. I need you right now. Jimmy Knopf in the South. Here we go. This question is worth two grand. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, threaten me. Hey, look, if a fight breaks out, I'm on his side. Here we go. Name something associated with Judy Garland. 
You have control. Singing. All right, you sound so big. And then he said, singing. Let me see, singing for the bullseye. Mm. Jimmy, listen to me carefully. 100 people. Something associated with Judy Garland, two grand. Oh, great. It's the movie she was in with the yellow brick road. What was that called? It was called, uh, it was, uh, 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 I can't think of the name of the show. It was, uh, well, I'll tell you what. The whole movie was, was, was less time than your attempt at that answer. Let me see, what was the bullseye? The Wizard of Oz, what you tried to say. The mouth of the South tongue tied. I'm sorry. Crush, it's nice to have you against the IRS. Can you add $3,000 to your team's bank with this question? Name a metal used to make earrings. IRS, gold. I guess the IRS would know about gold. Is it the bullseye? Bullseye! You build a bank of $9,000 for the bad boy. Here comes the big boss man. Hold on, gentlemen. I don't like you. We'll settle this in. You're a thief. Gentlemen, we can settle this in the feud right now. Let's try to build the bank as large as possible. $4,000, the value of this question. Name someone famous who used an axe. Big boss man. Paul Revere. <laughs> We said they were the good guys, not the smart guys. Uh, let me see if Paul Revere and his axe adds four thousand uh, dollars. Repo man, someone, someone famous who used an axe. Paul Bunyan. Is it Paul Bunyan? Bullseye! That is what you meant to say. We have a thirteen thousand dollar bank for the bad guys. Reverend Slick, it's up to you to add five thousand more dollars to the bank of the good guys. Papa Shango. Papa Shango, good luck. It has nothing to do with it. Nice to have you on the show and, and your spit that's coming out of your mouth too. Here, here's the question that could add $5,000 to your bank. Name something parents send to their kids at college. You have control, Reverend Slick. Money. Could money add 5000 to the good guy? The bad guys have a bank of thirteen thousand dollars, and we'll be right back to play with you, so we can see who will play fast money for all the money in their bank. Don't miss it. We're back, and it's time to play the you. Let's go, ready, Macho Man Savage. Sure. The first team to reach 300 points will win this game and go on to play fast money for their charity. The good guys, $10,000 built into their bank. The bad guys, $13,000 built into their bank. Here is the first question. On the way to the 300, we ask 100 people, try to give me one of the most popular answers of the six that we have on that board. What was the last thing you bought that you couldn't afford? John, house. is house on our survey? It is. Now, two answers, Macho. Give you control. What's the last thing you bought that you couldn't afford? Two answers give you control. Not a personality. Ooh. <laughs> You're going to have to get another guy to replace this guy. Yeah. A car. Let me see if Otto gives you control. Bam, number one. The good guys have control. The chance of $10,000. Up to you now. What's, you. what's the last thing you bought that you couldn't afford? A hundred people survey. I feel so small. So small. Medical insurance. <laughs> <laughs> this is our Native American Patoka. Insurance. You bet. He's a Democrat. Let me see. Insurance. <laughs> Strike one. Think of the steel. Crush. Hey, uh, some some type of jewelry. The last thing you bought that you couldn't afford, are you rolling with jewelry? Yes! 64 points in the bank. Big boss man, I haven't seen you since WrestleMania 8. Good luck to you. Great charity. What is the last thing you bought you couldn't afford? Uh, some people clothes. Let me, let me see. Clothing. Bam! 74 points in the bank. Reverend Slick, help your team on the way to a clean sweep. Three seconds, take a guess. Groceries. Is it groceries? Did that make the survey? Uh, to my bad boys, 
Hart, Jimmy Hart, think of a steal over there. You could steal this bank. If Macho Man does not know the last thing you bought that you couldn't afford. Uh -huh. Possibly, maybe a vacation. Let me see if you're alive with a vacation. Yes, still alive. First question will go to the good guys, if you know. The tango. Last thing you bought that you couldn't afford, you got three seconds, so they're going for the steal. Take a guess. This bank is up for grabs. One answer, Papa Shango. Last uh, thing you bought uh, you couldn't afford? Toys. Toys. Television set. Television. TV. TV. Yeah, TV. You tell, you tell Sean what you want him to say. TV. And you may go with him, Sean, or on your own. One for the steal. TV. Is it a steal with TV? Uh, you got the bank. Good guys. Keep the first bank. Let's see, number four would have gotten the bad guys to steal. Camera. No one said. Take a picture of this. We're coming right back with more. Fun with the greatest wrestlers in the world. Good guys and bad guys. Coming right up on the view. We're back. The good guys, 77 points. The bad guys, zero. Here we go. With another face-off. The WWF. Jimmy Mouth of the South Heart. Here we go. We double this point value, and the top five answers are on the board. Who will take control? We ask a hundred people. What do you do when you want to blow off steam? You have control? Exercise. Is exercise up there? It is, but two answers give Jimmy Mouth of the South control. What do you do when you want to blow off steam? Jog. Well, let me go to the judge on that. That is the same as exercise. Okay. You haven't seen the way Jimmy does it. Um, <laughs> oh, three well, seconds. Take shadow it. box. Shadow box. Think of the steal. Think of the steal. You have control. You let them get the chance to try to steal. Crush, what do you do when you want to blow off steam? Uh, yell. That would work. Yeah. Didn't make our survey. Yell. Yeah. Number one. Point values double the crowd behind the good guy. Big boss man, what would 100 average Americans say? Uh, spend money. When you want to blow off steam, spend dough. Uh, My wife must be mad all the time. <laughs> Reverend Slick. Read. One strike, will it be two? With I'm mad, let me have a dictionary. Uh, Think of a steal, the point values double. Showing once again, they could steal your bank. Macho man, what do you do when you want to blow off steam? Red luck and hunger, yeah. Throw something! You throw something! Uh, we have 88 points that can be stolen at least. Papa Shango, one on, answer on. for the steal. Something you do when you want to blow off steam. I hit something. He's talking to you. Repo man. Eat something. He's talking to you. Go to a sporting event. Okay. I think you've hit something. You tell Sean what you want him to say for the steal. Tell him what's up there. We have three answers. They're not screaming anything out. Be your own man if you want. Something you do when you want to blow off steam. Three seconds. Hit something. Yeah. Is it? Hit something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the bank goes with the good guys one more time. Good try. Would have been a little say count to ten. I know that people do that. Number two would have gotten you the steal. Take a walk. That's the way Jimmy jogs, but... I can't believe that was jogging. Well, you better believe it, brother, because it didn't make it. Number four. I cannot believe it. Clean house. Number five. Sweat. We have 165 to zero, and we go with a triple value question right now. Push against the IRS. Let me point out, good guys, if you take this question all the way out, you will win this game and play fast money for $10,000. I'm on the IRS's side. Good luck, you need it to stay alive. Top six answers are on the board. Name any kind of station. Television station. Is television station there? Uh, you have control if you can name any kind of station. Fire station. Fire station. You can win the game. Think of the steal. Good guys, you can win this game. Big boss man. Uh, train station. Train station. Number one. Come on, Reverend 
Cosmic Bus Station. Let me see Bus Station. Bang! 138. Doesn't look good for the bad guys. Come on, great charity, Macho Man. Mm -hmm. Real great charity. Yeah. Uh-huh. Radio Radi Station. Radio Station. Radio Station. Bam! What do you say? Police Station. Police Station. Oh, you took the push. This game is over. You're playing for $10,000 for a great relief for Somalia, if you know, number four. Maybe gas station. It's number two. It's number two for the game. Gas station. Bam! You're playing for $10,000 for headlock for Hunter on Somalia. I know you gave him a great try, Sean, for a great charity, but stay here. I need two players right now for $10,000. Who's it going to be with me? This way. Who's first? Big boss man? Off stage. Come on back. Who's first? We're coming right back to play for $10,000. I'll be in control right after this. The tank and jump over this road. Don't go away. $10,000 for headlock on hunger. Somalia relief efforts from the good guys. Are you ready? We're going to put 15 seconds on that clock. I want you to face America because you are too scary for me. Good luck. We ask 100 women the first question. Name something you use that comes in a push-button can. Toothpaste. Something annoying that people do in elevators. Sing. A country where people have long last names. Africa. A vegetable that's usually cooked. Quickly. Um... Some, some, quickly. Uh, Turn around, you got three of the five. I asked you 100 women. Something that's used in a push-button can. You said... Toothpaste in a push-button can. Survey said two people agreed. That stops the shutout. <laughs> Something annoying that people do in elevators, you said. Sing. I've been in those elevators. Survey said 22. I'm back on your side. A country where people have long last names, you chose Africa. What did the survey say? Oh. Where was I think basically they only have one name there, but, uh, but we'll see how you do with the next two. A uh, vegetable that's usually cooked, you didn't get to it, and you got no points. Did you do any better with a question I didn't ask you? Um, <laughs> something people drink with lunch. You got zero. We're going to leave some work for your partner. It can yep. be done. Okay. I don't want him to even look. Straight to me, big boss man. Great right here. Straight to me. You got some work to do for a great charity. You can do this. You look straight ahead, quietly please. With 20 seconds on that clock, I want you to bring it home to that great charity. We ask 100 women the first question. Name something you use that comes in a push-button can. Lotion. Something annoying that people do in elevators. Um, pass. A country where people have long last names. Russia. A vegetable that's usually cooked. Squash. Something people drink with lunch. Coke. I'm going, which was the question for the repeat? Which one? Second. Annoying that people do in elevators. Talk. He said talk. He said talk. Thank you for your help. Let's see if you gave the answers necessary for the big comeback. Hundred women. Something you, you, you use that comes in a push-button can. You said lotion. Push-button can. What did the survey say? Zero. Hairspray. Number one. Not given. Something annoying that people do on elevators. Did you do any better with talk? Survey said zero. Smoke was number one, and it was not given. A country where people have long last names. You chose a great one with Russia. Survey chose 25. Yeah. Poland would have been number one. How'd you do, this was interesting, a vegetable that's usually cooked. You said, cook a squash, survey said, five. Potato would have been number one. It's definitely $5 a point for this championship round. Something people drink with lunch, you said, to show you Coke, survey said, 31. No, for soda pop, number one, $5 a point, gives you charity.
$425, come out here, shake his hand. The big boss man coming right back. We don't want you to go away and go be here with our WWF friends. Right. I'm Ray Combs for the feud in the WWF. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. I'm Art Goodson, television production.